Hi, I'm Richard Kemp, a partner at Kemp IT Law. And at Kemp IT Law, IT and technology law is all we do. As legal services get increasingly technologized, what should law firms keep in mind to get the best from their cloud investments? The start point for larger systems is a good RFP. And here, Paul Longhurst's team at Three Kites has the deepest and most independent bench. The RFP will get you a clear idea of what you need from your new system in contractual terms. From this, you'll be able to assess and manage the gap between what you want ideally and what the vendor is prepared to provide. Working with our law firm clients and leading vendors on the other side of the table, we have a pretty good idea of what's achievable in bridging that gap. A good internal process will go a long way to ensuring a good deal for the firm, but what about the legal points? Some observations. One, be clear on the boundaries of what your vendor is and is not responsible for. Two, in a cloud deal, you're really buying a room at the vendor's hotel where the service level agreement, or SLA, is the product, and there may be little scope to negotiate. Does the SLA give you what you need? Three, make sure you have a practical route to getting your data back to avoid lock-in. Four, in on-prem to in-cloud migrations, make sure you're not paying twice for the same thing. Five, GDPR terms routinely account for 25 to 35% of the page count in a law firm cloud contract deal. Particular areas of focus are the controller, process of boundary, third country transfers and high risk activities. Do give enough time to get these right. And don't forget the DPIA. Six, on liability, vendors are increasingly seeking to impose an exclusion of consequential loss and a cap on direct loss of 12 months charges. Do you need a higher cap for loss of data or breach of confidentiality, security or GDPR duties. Seven, we're seeing client engagement and insurer's terms becoming much more onerous around cyber security. So make sure your new systems align with these requirements. Allowing the time to get these knotty issues right in what can be a pressured run up to contract signature can make all the difference between a successful project and a runaway. If you'd like to hear more, check out our LinkedIn and YouTube channels and sign up to our mailing list.